When companies launch successful software, developers use end-to-end -end testing methods. In this video, we will discuss best practices for end-to-end -end testing to make your job easier as a developer. Let's start with the definition. Quite simply, end-to-end -end testing is the entire testing of a product. Email verification of a Gmail account is an excellent example. First. You open the Gmail login tab via URL. Then, you log into your account by providing your login credentials. Then you start checking your emails. You write, read, or reply to an email. Then you review the sent and spam folder. Then you start checking every section of your email from the primary, social, and promotion tab. Then when you're done, you log out out of your Gmail account. This is the most basic end-to-end -end testing practices. There are two types of end-to-end -end testing methods. The first one is horizontal testing method. The second is the vertical testing method. The horizontal testing method is the most common method used in software companies. This testing process consists of multiple applications. A simple example can be a web-based application of an online e-commerce platform. For an e-commerce platform, a lot is connected with a transaction such as inventory status, account information, product amount, type, and shipping details. The vertical testing method is the all-in-one testing process. Every layer of the application is tested from top to bottom. A perfect example can be the HTML-based web application that uses HTML codes for contacting servers. These applications require an API for generating SQL codes against the database. So how beneficial is end-to-end -end testing? Firstly, you can inspect the health of the back end. The second benefit is the app validation and behavior checking of multi-tier architecture and its system. Applications have many types of behavior and working flow that require additional checking. Through end-to-end -end testing, you can effortlessly check the over-complex architecture-based applications. End-to-end -end testing also helps to focus on user experience. The testing helps support the back-end process and assists the front-end process as well as the UI elements. Users will need to have the best experience possible and the only way to ensure it is through smooth control over the system. Hence, this process will allow you to check the smooth interaction of the application. And finally, end-to-end -end testing is way better than manual testing. End-to-end -end testing is more accurate and causes less delays than the traditional manual testing process. Here are some steps to conduct a successful end-to-end -end testing. Firstly, have a clear vision of your work. Have an obvious picture of how every aspect of the system should work and proceed accordingly. If something doesn't work, you can fix it immediately. Then, be sure to create and manage a perfect environment for the tests. Your staging environment has to be ideal for the test cases. Make sure the system you are running the test is up to date, fulfill all the necessary conditions, and collect documents before the testing starts. Then, be sure to meet the software and hardware requirements. Try to make a list of items within your budget that you will use and collect them accordingly so that you can conduct the tests. Be sure to pre-record every response. Create a list of responses that you feel are correct. The application's responses need to be accurate in every way, or it will function incorrectly in a user's hand. Don't forget to do everything in a precise order. End-to-end -end testing phase will continually become difficult because many components are being added. The debugging steps also become laborious. A quick solution is to do the easy tasks first, and then move towards the difficult ones. Be sure to analyze your risks. 
the continuous process may have high risks and in later stages may cause failure. However, you can use the Risk Assessment Matrix tool to cover this area. Be sure to also keep track of the end user's perspective. A customer can be the best tester for a product because they know exactly what they want and can provide the best feedback. So think about how a user will use their product. Lastly, be sure to save your results. Saving the results of the run tests will be particularly beneficial in later tests. Create a document of all the previous tests so that you can use them later. Fortunately, you can enhance your end-to-end -end testing by using AppZero. AppZero is a SaaS tool that analyzes your plugin's performance as well as the satisfaction of your users. It also takes care of your licensing and deployment of your WordPress plugins, which save you a lot of development time. For more videos on using AppZero, be sure to check the website or contact us for more information. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.